Okay, so I really thought this whole situation was over. I thought we've pretty much talked about everything one could talk about regarding these unique Twitch streamers. Certain topics I like to milk, but this one was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this could possibly get weirder in case you guys missed it I'll give you a quick recap in a nutshell there were twitch streamers who were naked on stream they had you know oil all over their body and they were streaming and you could just find them with two clicks you could straight up go from Fortnite to Minecraft all the way to see naked women on twitch we talked about it here on the channel and that resulted in one of the biggest streamers doing that being banned I don't know if they're back someone interviewed her and on top of that twitch finally responded to everything somehow made the platform even more dangerous but i don't want to get ahead of myself let's just get into the interview with her you know my ban one of the reasons they listed was uh, a lap dance i'm the only one here so i'm not really sure how i could have given anybody a lap dance um but that was one of the reasons they listed in the ban that i received so i think honestly they are just cracking down on this new meta um, and their toss is very open-ended, so they're not giving anyone, you know, no one, nobody's breaking toss. Nobody is breaking the terms of service. Me standing here like this, it's just shoulders. And by the way, I am wearing a shirt. <laughs> I do wear a shirt and pants in all of the streams. It's just the implied nudity that, um, really freaks people out that's not the situation it's not like i was out here or anyone else was ripping their hair out being like yo what the fuck i'm freaking the freak out right now because of this now, i don't want to come across as uh one of those people who say think about the kids think about the future because i'm always like man fuck these kids and fuck the future <laughs> <laughs> but like if this was going on on any other platform let's say youtube i'm pretty sure this video is gonna get me demonetized if you've seen the way twitch bans people they always give the stupidest reasons oh you breathe a little too much there was a guy who got banned who had an accent i don't remember where he was from but he said something that kind of sounded like the f slur and a twitch banned him for hate speech when there was this accent that made him sound like that banning reasons are always so inconsistent she got banned for apparently giving a lap dance but let's not pretend like she's dumb she had no idea this was happening or why she started doing it. So you were telling me out of all the platforms where you can do this freely and even more explicitly, you decide to do it on Twitch, a gaming platform? You know, I think it's pretty obvious. You don't have to have, you know, super high IQ, Albert Einstein type IQ, Oppenheimer type IQ to understand why she's doing this. We're not freaking out because titties, you know, that's not the issue. The, the issue is where you're marketing it at. And if Twitch made a separate platform called Twitch X x then go right ahead because now people who actually want to seek it and look for it they know where to find it but who knows how many people young people have stumbled upon this by accident so once again i said this on the last video about her i don't think it's a thousand percent on her like i think she's definitely played some part of it but i think this falls on twitch a thousand percent as well shot i took it says engaging in lap dances again i don't <laughs> i'm the only one here so i don't really know how i was doing that uh, the other one was describing a sexual experience in graphic detail for a prolonged time another one i honestly don't recall doing like every single one of these these kinds of streams that i've been doing i was playing a video game the whole time the whole stream as someone who tuned in for research purposes right <laughs> I like my video on her, the second one. Or was it the first one? I don't really remember which one it was. But I'm just like, oh, let's see what's going on on Twitch. And she was live. No, you are not playing video games the whole time, as you say. You know, I don't want to go full Saul Goodman on her and, you know, pull out the fifth and invoke the fifth and do all that crazy stuff. But, like, stop the cap. Be honest with yourself. Because for the four minutes that I was there to get that footage, to get, you know, a little more context to the whole meta and Twitch because I'm not on Twitch. Those three, four minutes that I was there, you were straight up dancing you were shaking it you were you know someone donated you started doing a little dance and you know you could see them move and once again for the million time for the people in the background the fucking twitter idiots are gonna be like oh do you just hate women bodies are you a homosexual what's going on with you what's not to like about this there's a lot to like but not on twitch now it would be the same way if this was on youtube it's just stuff that shouldn't be on the platform i'm not complaining about you know seeing titties like no that's not my issue here that's not what i'm complaining about my complaint is that this just gets a pass but if you say something that isn't PC or isn't appropriate, you get hit with a ban. And no, I'm not referring to the N-word, okay? You say, I don't know, this is retarded, or you're a retard, or I'm gonna kill you in GTA 5, like that kind of stuff. YouTube, YouTube and Twitch sometimes picks it up and it's like, banned. 
suspended, strike, hate speech. So I don't really know where that one came from. This is the one that I understand. Okay, the final one that they list. It says, making explicit gestures towards breasts, buttocks, or genitals on stream. That one I can kind of see because when I would get like a donation or a sub, I would do this, all right? And I'm clapping my hands, but that looks like something else. <laughs> but I am clapping my hands. And I do, throughout my streams, I do lift my hands up to the camera too. There are a couple where I'm like, yay. Once again, I am not an expert on her career. I really, the first time I heard of her was because of the super mega situation. That's the first time I became aware of her. You just need to watch the first and second videos in order to, to see that that's not the case. I don't know if she's just trying to play dumb. Well, yeah, she's not trying. She is playing dumb. No, I mean the four or five minutes that I was there recording the footage and just, you know, getting stuff for the video. It's like, that's not what happened in reality, but... <laughs> I mean, you can just go watch the first and second video that I made on her to see how she really acts when she gets a donation. It isn't, yay, happy, innocent clapping. It's like, you know, my tits are bouncing up and down. After this, you might think Twitch would improve their TOS. And we all know that Twitch is ran by disgusting, sweaty, stinky people who never go outside. So they updated the TOS. Twitch responded. Um, They doubled down and they support this kind of stuff i mean twitch updated their sexual content policy changes certain content now allowed with labels artistic nudity permitted under sexual themes label can anyone please tell me what the fuck artistic nudity is you can be nude on twitch now you're bending the rules around these women so does this mean i could fire up a stream right now on twitch i could dip my penis into a can of paint red paint grab a canvas and start painting the eiffel tower with my genitals i mean that's artistic right what does it mean like if i just walk around naked on twitch and i paint on my Chaz, does that, is that artistic enough? So if I'm just naked there on the couch eating grapes, is that artistic? Just when you think Twitch can't get shittier, they double down. Thank God I'm not a fucking Twitch. That platform shit. Like when I'm at the park with my dog, I'm not thinking, holy shit, wouldn't it be hot if like, you know, fucking 10 women were to run around here naked. There's a time and place for everything. And in my opinion, new to women on a PG-13 website is pretty bad right i don't know how this is a hot take or controversial at all game nudity context labels necessary body painting acceptable with appropriate label okay so i could go on twitch mature games label general okay stream visibility impacted by content labels so i guess twitch was like no please come back to our platform artistic nudity yeah <laughs> this is exactly what i fucking mean i don't know what it means the ceo when making this rule <laughs> You know, this is straight up porn content on Twitch. I don't even think Kick allows nudity or like any of those other platforms. It's fucking crazy. Twerking, grinding, and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. This platform is going to fall off so fucking much. Twitch doing whatever it takes to keep their platform alive. They're going down the OF route again. Like, no, 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 we don't want you to go. We're, we're going to fix the rules so you can come back to the platform. I want to see how many male content creators uh could do these kind of things and get away with it i, I think it'll be really interesting uh not that i want to see it but as long as you test it out someone needs to sacrifice themselves and this is going to be such a big problem because you're gonna have so many only fans girls running to twitch to promote their main event content on the other platform they're gonna you know they're gonna be i guess naked and they're gonna be like well if you want to see more you know where do you find me link below and that kind of stuff it, it's just going to be such a disaster i don't know i don't know what the fuck twitch is thinking making it an adult website now i mean as long as it has a label guys it's okay if it has nudity under it it's fine you're good to go thank god i was never a twitch streamer fuck that platform but with that said what do you guys think of the situation let me know in the comments below are you happy are you sad are you confused whatever you guys think let me know in the comments below and with that said i'll see you guys next time all right peace out